Hello everyone, my name is Will Carmack. Today I'll be showing you how to make those visual effects fire assets that you can download from third party websites. I'll be showing you how to take those and turn them slow motion. For example, check out this shot that I turned slow motion but I tracked in all this fire. Looks beautiful, right? Well, before it got there, it looked like this. Do you see how all the fire is so freaking fast, but me and my friend are moving in slow motion? Terrible look, it's awful. And these uh, websites that let you download fire assets, rarely do they have the right slow motion one. And so when I learned how to actually be able to take any of the fire elements within these websites and actually make them slow motion, I was then able to composite and animate any clip I want in slow motion. It felt empowering. So let me pass this baton on to you guys. Let me show you how to make fire slow motion in After Effects. By the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. All right, so you can see I have my clips here in Adobe Premiere. This was the original shot where I just had Corey run down um, our driveway. That's right, I have a driveway. Sorry, I didn't know why I had to flex on you guys like that. And then of course I slow mode it, which turned it into this beautiful shot. I will open this up in After Effects so we can track it. I'll, bl I'll breeze right through this. And as we all know, tracking in After Effects is incredibly easy. You just hit the tracker panel and you hit track camera. Bam, tracked. So do you see in the original clip how I have fire tracked onto the side wall here? That's what I'm gonna do to keep it easy breezy cover girl. So yes, uh, create a target, create solid in camera. You guys know the deal. I'll show you guys my little After Effects um, tracking uh, Pro tip, I'll just take that file I downloaded, I'll drag it into my Project Explorer right here, and I'll just click on that solid that I've created, and if you hold down Alt, click on the clip you've uh, just brought in, and drag it on top of the track solid, bam! It replaces it just like that. And sometimes it's easier to start with a track solid, so you can see if the track is actually strong before you add in your actual asset. All right, so of course, we'll scale that up. Sorry, the dog is... I'm gonna be too lazy to mask the dog. Let's watch that back. Okay, I need to bring it up a little higher. Bam. Now my friend Corey is running in slow motion, but the fire is moving so freaking fast. How are we gonna fix this? Well, first of all, you can see that the fire doesn't last the entire duration of the clip. Another pro tip for you, you guys are so lucky, I'm nice. If you right click on your layer and go to time and enable time remapping, you'll see that last keyframe Let's fuck that keyframe in the butt. <laughs> so in other words, let's go one frame to the left of this keyframe and create a new one, and then just go back to the right and delete that one. Listen, don't tell me why it works like this, it just does. We're gonna make this loop. So now if we alt click on time remap, we just can type out loop out, hit enter, bam. And now, um, because this is a looping asset from Production Crate, you can do this little trick and it will automatically loop throughout the entirety of the comp. You see that? All right, guys, what do we do? The fire's moving so fast. Well, easy. Why don't we just slow it down really freaking slow? Isn't that the simple solution? Let's do it. All right, let's take camera, right click, go to time, time stretch, and I'll type in 500. Big slow down right here, guys. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Oh god, this should be behind that music that's like da 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 Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, it's so bad. So, so here's the tutorial part. This is why you can't just slow down an asset like this because Footage Crate is letting you download these, but they're only like 30 frames per second. So all you gotta do is hit this frame blending thing right here. Don't hit it once, hit it twice. You wanna see this little arrow. This is giving you um, artificial frames in between all the frames. So like where it was previously jerky, it's now artificially intelligently creating a new frame not allowing for choppiness. And because it's fire, such an obscure and abstract, abstract, yeah. Fire is such a like abstract pattern that you can't tell that every single frame, like you can look at it right now as it's like a rendering, every single frame is just generating normally because fire doesn't have like a normal uniform look. Look at that. And now we have slow motion fire. Ooh, it's so good. I'll run it, I'll run, I'll run through that one more time, super fast. All right, so cl you click on your camera tracker. Let's uh, select the ground, create a solid. Bam, we have a fire. If we go to our website where we can collect fires, we can find a, a ground fire. Well, this is a ceiling fire, but I think it's gonna work. And remember, we drag in. 
our fire clip into our project bin. We select our track solid. We hold Alt, click and drag it onto the track solid. Bam, we have our new ground fire. Bam, let's watch Corey run through it. Oh, it's painful seeing how fast that fire is. Remember, we'll take this ground fire, change the time. You can be as liberal with this as you want. Let's do 600, that's a crazy one. So now it's 600 uh, speed slow. Look, look at it, it's so choppy, it's so bad. Oh, it's so ugly. Can you imagine that looking like better? Yes, we can. Remember, we'll go down to this button here, frame blending. We'll hit it twice, which brings us to this beautiful arrow. And bam, that's really all you need to know. Watch this shit. Look at that. What's funny is the frames are blending really well, but it's actually too slow. Let me change the time stretch to 300. And now if we watch that back, Ooh, it's so good. Look how slow motion-y that fire is. Obviously, this is nothing like the finished composited shot, which is super sick, right? So yeah, that is how you make fire, slow motion, and after effects. And this will apply to like lots of things like fire and energy blasts that you can download from websites like Footage Crate. Because when the pixels are weird and abstract and light, like fire, when you're blending frames together, it totally works. Because with a person, if you're trying to make like a person slow motion and then you try and frame blend it, it can look janky super fast. Got the green lights on, because now I gotta tell you about the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a professional photographer and you want to show your work to the world so you can get hired, make some money. Well, Squarespace's portfolios and galleries options will let you do that and look super good doing it. The templates that you can upload your photography work to on Squarespace are award-winning designer templates. So when people come to your website and look at your photography work in the portfolios and galleries sections that they've built, it's gonna look really well nice. What did I just say? It's gonna look, God, I'm so thrown off now. It's gonna look really nice. Your work is gonna be displayed in a really sleek, professional way. Next, Squarespace has analytics that'll make any business person cry tears of joy. They've got graphs and charts even a dummy like me can understand. All the numbers of people coming to your website, your traffic, people buying your products, people clicking on your embedded links to go to your other social medias. There's graphs and charts for everything. So if you want to keep up to date with your um, business numbers, operate your business through Squarespace. And lastly, you can stay connected with all of your social medias with Squarespace and their connected services. You can basically embed any of your socials into your website. So when people come to your website, they can find you on any of your socials. So embed your Instagram into your website. People will be able to come to your website and find your fashionista Instagram. Maybe a SoundCloud rapper. Embed your SoundCloud into your website. So stay connected with Squarespace, embed all your socials, stay connected. And the best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. It's pretty sick. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Will. Hope you learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice... Why did I speed through it? Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.